Hi students, this is AJ sir. Let's study 9th standard ICSE math exercise 8D. Now in this exercise, mark the following sums as IMP. The 6th sum, 14th, 19.3 and the 22nd sum. Let's start with the second sum. They've given the value of x in terms of log y as well and z. And then they've given one equation of x, y and z. We have to find the value of a, that is the unknown variable out here. So first of all, they've given the value of x. Write 1 as log 10 so that everything is in log so we can bring them together and that turns out to be log 4, that's x. Similarly, y, the 2 coefficient becomes the square and it becomes log 9. Now z is log a minus log 5, that becomes log a upon 5 because subtraction is division here. Now, this is a given equation. Let's substitute the value of x from here. Substitute the value of y from here. And the value of z from here. So again, we get an equation in terms of log. So get the logs together because I would like to have one log on LHS and RHS so that we can get rid of it. And then solve it to get the value of a. Remember, whenever you're remo removing square root, check if a negative value is allowed. Here, a cannot have a negative value, so the answer is just 30. Now the fourth sum. a squared is log x, b cube is log y, and 3a squared minus 2b cube is 6 log c. Express y in terms of x and z. All right. Let's start with this given equation. Now we know that a squared is log x, so substitute that. b cube is log y, so substitute that. And this coefficient 6 becomes a power 6 of z. That happens even here and here. Subtraction means division. Log disappears. So we get this equation. I want y alone. So step by step send everything on the other side. Square will become square root. By the way, square root is a power of half. So if I do 3 into half and 6 into half, then I'm left with x raised to 3 upon 2 and z cube. So that's the final answer. Now the sixth sum, a square plus b square is equal to 23ab and we have to show this. Well, when I look at this given equation, it could have been a formula, but 2ab is missing here. And even this, if it was 25, it would have been a perfect square. So that's a hint about what we should do. I can see that 5 squared is 25 and a plus b the whole squared requires plus 2ab. So we'll start with adding 2ab on both the sides. This serves a dual purpose. First of all, the LHS becomes a perfect square because that's a formula. And 25 is also a perfect square of 5. So 25 goes down and we get this equation. Now, taking log on both the sides. Till now, we always had a logarithmic equation and we got rid of the log. But now we are doing the reverse. Here we will introduce the log on both the sides. You see, if a is equal to b, then as a rule, log of a will also be equal to log of b. Of course, assuming the bases are same and that is the case here. The base is 10, but we are not writing it. So now the square becomes a coefficient here and the multiplication becomes addition of the logs. Keep looking at the question. Keep seeing what is asked to know if you're going in the right direction. And yes, we are. Now this two will go on the other side, that will become half. And this is what they wanted to prove as per the question. Now the eighth sum. Solve for x, that means get the value of x. 
and here they have explicitly mentioned that x and y cannot have negative values nor nor can they have a zero as a value so log x y is equal to log x upon y plus 2 log 2 is equal to 2 so it's a big equation with three parts so we'll solve it in this manner first of all take log x y as 2 and solve that and secondly take this equation separately and solve that let's start with this one now to get rid of the log one way to do it is write 2 as log 100 so the log disappears so we get x y is equal to 100 get the value of x which we can substitute later on on the RHS as well the coefficient becomes a power 2 becomes log 100 addition becomes multiplication of these numbers then log goes away and we are left with this equation x is equal to 25y now here substitute the value of x as 100 upon y from equation 1 so that now the equation only has y no x that can be easily solved to get the value of y as 2 no negative 2 only positive 2 now substitute this value again in equation 1 out here so that you get the value of y as well again positive value next the 10th sum if p is equal to log 20 and q is equal to log 25 find the value of x if this is the equation given so starting with this equation first of all the coefficient becomes a power substitute p as log 20 and substitute q as log 25 again the coefficient becomes power subtraction becomes division of the numbers 20 squared is 400 by the way so ultimately I'm getting log x plus 1 the whole squared is equal to log 16 that's the the whole end game to get rid of the log so we are left with this take the square root minus 4 won't be allowed because if I put minus 4 here it becomes minus 4 plus 1 that's still a negative number and we are not dealing with log of negative numbers here so just take the positive value shift the plus 1 and it becomes minus 1 and the answer is 3 now the twelfth sum log x upon log y is given and log x y is given find the values of x and y it looks like a simultaneous equation sum but let's see how to solve this so, log x upon log y, no, you can't cut log and log, that's not allowed. We can cross multiply it, and then the coefficient becomes a power, and now log will disappear by comparing LHS RHS. So, we get this as the first equation. Now, this is the second equation given in the question. I would like to have log on both the sides. 5 is nothing but log 1 lakh. See, log of 10 is 1. Log of 100 is 2. Log of 1000 is 3. Similarly, log of 10 raised to 5 or 1 lakh is 5. This answer is always equal to this. Of course, we are, we are assuming that the base is 10. So log disappears, so we get the value of xy and then we get the value of x. Now substitute this value of x out here in equation 1. So we get 10 raised to 5 upon y the whole squared is equal to y cubed. So now the equation only has y. So let's solve further and get the value of y. So 10 raised to 10 upon y squared, y squared goes up and becomes y raised to 5 because y cube into y square addition of the powers is y raised to 5. Now if you remember whenever a power shifts to the other side we have to multiply that power with the reciprocal of that. For example if y square is x then I can say y is equal to x raised to half which is nothing but square root of x. Similarly if there is a power of 5 then it will become the power of 1 into 5 1 upon 5 cut cut 
So what I'm left, left with is y is equal to 10 squared, which is 100. Now again, substitute this in equation 1. So we get x squared is 100 cube. 100 cube is 1 million or 10 lakh. But it's a square, so shift it to make it square root. And what's the square root of 1 million? Well, it's 1000. So that's the answer for x. Now, 14 sum, it's IMP. This equation is given and we have to find the value of x. First of all, let's get logs on the left-hand side and the numbers on the right-hand side. So this goes and becomes negative and minus 1 goes and becomes plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So now we can bring the logs together. Subtraction means division of the numbers. This would work only if the bases are same, and indeed the bases are the same, 5 and 5. So I got single log here. Now I would love to write this in a log format so the log log disappears, but that won't work because here the base is 5, and I can write this as log 100, but there the base will be 10. Then the log won't disappear. So I'll have to use another method of getting rid of log. What's that? Writing it in the exponent form. So the base raised to answer is equal to this. So that 5 squared is equal to this. That's the exponential form. And now it's normal algebra, 25, cross multiply, like terms together, get the value of x in mixed fraction, of course. Next, the 16th sum. A squared value is given, B cube value is given, and this equation is given as log c and we want to find c in terms of x and y. So start with the equation given. Substitute a square as log x and substitute b cube as log y as per the question. Now when you say log x upon 2 this is actually 1 upon 2 into log x. That's the same thing as 1 upon 2 into log x. And this coefficient can become the power. So I'm writing a power of 1 upon 2, which is actually square root. So you could have written square root as well here. Similarly, this upon 3 is nothing but 1 upon 3 out there, which can be raised to the power here. So this becomes y raised to 1 upon 3, or you could have written it as cube root of y. Both are fine. And now subtraction means division of the numbers. You see, as long as there is a coefficient, we can never bring the log, logs together directly. First, the coefficients have to be shifted. Then only we can get the logs together. So I'm getting square root of x upon cube root of y as log c, log log gone. So the answer of c is square root of x upon cube root of y. This can be simplified further to get a, a single umbrella for both of them. But if you leave the answer like this, it's okay. Now 18 sum, solve for x and this equation is given. Note that the x is the base here. So the first thing we'll do is get the logs together. So the minus log will shift here and become plus log. Fortunately, the bases are same, so we can get the logs together. Addition of logs means multiplication of the numbers. RHS is 2, but we can't really change it to log 100. Again, same reason here, the base is x. And if I write log 100, that there the base will be 10. So I could not get rid of log like that. So instead, what we'll do is, first of all, after getting them together, or multiplying, 15 into 3 is 45. And root 5 into right, root 5 is 5. So 5 into 45 is 225. And RHS remains as 2. So how do we get rid of this log? Well, by converting it to exponential form. That is x squared is equal to 225. And then when we remove the square root, the answer of x is 15. Ignore the negative value again, because we can't have the base as a negative value. Now 19.3, again evaluate. <clears throat> this is what is given. What is challenging about this sum is that the bases are all different. Base 5, base 25, base 100. So we cannot solve it unless we can make the bases same. Now, how do we make bases same? This is something new. So remember this rule that 
log of a to the base b can also be written as log of a to the base x upon log of b to the base x, same base, which can be any base. For example, let's take this example. Log of 1000 to the base 100. Suppose if I want to write it in a form where I want the base as 10. I don't want the base as 100. Okay. So log of 1000 to the base 10 upon log of 100 to the base 10. So this base we decide. It could be anything. 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 10, 10. It's our choice. But we will always use 10, 10 in all sums. And in the numerator, I will write this log of this value. And the denominator will have a log of the old base. So that's how I can convert the log into log 10. There is one more rule you should remember, which hasn't been used in the exercise, but just for your information, log of 8 to the base 2 is same as 1 upon log of 2 to the base 8. This is used only in the last sum of the exercise. So remember this. The general rule says that log of A to the base B is equal to 1 upon log of B to the base A. So let's use this in this sum. So as I said, the sum is challenging because the bases are different. I would love all the bases to become 10. But how do I achieve that? Let's start with this one. Let me write it like this. Log of 8 upon log of 5 to the same base 10. So the numerator has been converted into a fraction. Similarly, Convert this into a fraction and convert this into a fraction. So log of 16 will become log log of 16 to the base 25 is log of 16 upon log of 25. Log of 10 to the base 100 is log of 10 upon log of 100. So everywhere I have new bases as 10, which is what I wanted. Now, 8 is 2 cube. 16 is 2 raised to 4. 25 is 5 squared. Log of 10, by the way, we know the value is 1. And log of 100 also we know is 2 because the base is 10. Next what? Well, the powers become coefficients. So it will become 3 log 2 upon log 5. The whole upon 4 log 2 upon 2 log 5. And this is into half. Now, let's see. Don't, don't cut 2 and 2. Okay, It's log 2. It's not 2. But we can cut this and this. So two lefts, two leaves behind. Sorry, two is left behind. This two and two can also be cut. Log five and log five is cut. Log two and log two is cut. So what is left here? Just three is left. So the answer is three. Next 21st sum. If log of x to the base, this is two, two upon three, find x. Well, clearly we will have to convert this into an exponential form. So first convert this into a, an improper fraction. So root 27 raised to 8 upon 3 is equal to x exponential form. Root 27, well, 27 is 3 cube. And when I say square root, it's power of half. So this is actually 3 raised to 3 into half. Or let me just write 3 upon 2. And this 8 upon 3 was already there. So 3, 3 gets cancelled, 2, 1s are, 2, 4s are. So what is left is 3 raised to 4. So that's the value of x as 81. And finally, evaluate this. Now this is something magical here. We'll have to manipulate it to solve it. So we'll have to remember this particular step. The rationale behind this is, these are fractions, so... If it was like a normal fraction sum, our first goal would have been to remove LCM to get the denominator same so that we can bring the fractions together. We'll do something similar, but uh, the biggest problem is that the bases are different, A, B, and C. And also there is a 1 out here. Interestingly, the base is a letter which is missing from A, B, C. Here B, then here C, A. Here C, then here A, B. Hmm, that's a hint. So what we'll do here, 
first of all this one can be written as log a to the base a that's yet another rule that log of anything to its own base is always equal to 1 always which is uh, good because now I have the same base here similarly this becomes log b to the base b and this becomes log c to the base c instead of 1 I'm substituting it why well notice ahead what happens addition means multiplication so that becomes a b c to the base a this becomes again a b c to the base b and this also becomes a b c to the base c so that's good that now all of them have a b c but again the bases are different and also it's a fraction so what is the next step well remember the rule which i told you that log of 8 to the base 2 is equal to 1 upon log of 2 to the base 8 that's the rule we are going to use here so this is a reciprocal so let's reciprocate it and write it as log of a to the base abc so the base and the number interchange themselves when we do a reciprocal in the log form even this becomes log of b to the base abc and log of c to the base abc the beauty of this step is that now all of them have the same base that means we can bring the logs together addition means multiplication of numbers a b c so I get log ABC to the base ABC and as I told you log of anything to the same base is always 1. So magically the answer for this is 1.